All right, one more question here before we go to our final presentation of the day. This question may make you smile, um, but this is a question that came in from uh, someone who works at a company who, if you heard the name of the company, you would, uh, you would all recognize it. <laughs> and uh, here's our question. Why is Cisco ACI so terrible? Now, I'm not trying to pass judgment on ACI one way or the other. I have heard this comment from a lot of people who are frustrated uh, by ACI. And so I'll, I'll leave it to you guys to, uh, to discuss this. And, uh, and, I, and I have some, some parting thoughts from some uh, many folks I know who've worked with ACI closely. Uh, Brian, let's lead off with you. Well, this, this seems to be kind of uh, as much philosophical as it is uh, technical. Um, I can tell you why I think it, why I think it was, or thought it was uh, terrible was my, my first experience with ACI was, was just brutal. I mean, it ate applications. We didn't quite know what applications needed to go where, how it should be prioritized or, and, you know, it was sort of our first foray into, into that technology. Um, so, so there's that. I, I mean, that, that really just started with me not knowing um, enough about ACI to do it correctly. Um, and that may be similar, you know, that may be that may be a common theme um, that shapes that that shapes that opinion, um, but I also think that that Cisco needs to. I think they're trying to be more software centric, and they were very much a hardware company. So it's tough to take you know twenty twenty five years of of hardware building and CLI and bolt on uh, you know bolt on these uh, I think these these extra features for for application uh, inspection and such. But you know that's again that's one man's opinion. Uh, Chris, you, you got some thoughts here. Well, I, it, it's interesting what Brian was saying there about um <laughs> maybe a layer eight problem uh, yes. <laughs> along the way there because yeah. al although you know I, I think a a ACI has um, some famous problems especially with old code it seems like i've never used it myself but i know quite a few people who have and almost consistently the the people who have used it recently really like it actually and it's mainly people who have been using it from the beginning who come away with the horror stories and it just sounds like it was maybe just a i want to say it was just a rush product but like you feel like all the vendors are like that nowadays right like almost everything seems to be full of bugs but as as even all of that aside i feel like so much of the problems that I've heard my colleagues say have to do with the fact that um, their bosses have implemented this expensive new system that they're very excited by. It's whiz bang and it's going to solve all the problems. Don't worry about training anyone though. Just they'll work it out. They're network guys, right? It's just another network thing. They'll work it out. And actually, no, it's a completely different philosophy. That's the whole point of ACI, right? Is that it, this, this abstraction that it brings requires a, a, a different mindset. I was talking, that's anecdotal, but I was talking with one colleague who said that um, of the staff in his department, the people who have freshly got CCNAs found it easier to use ACI than hardened network veterans because they weren't as bogged down with the philosophy of it. And, and I mean, if you're not going to train people, then you're going to have problems, right? Yeah, our data center team at uh, in my region... <clears throat> they don't they don't have complaints like that anymore uh it, it used to be that way so not having a tremendous amount of experience deploying it myself you know i'm in the same boat as you chris but just hearing from from our dc team um we're not hearing that it's in you know this incredibly terrible thing like it used to be i mean yeah there's some inherent complexity because now instead of just configuring a couple things manually which may not be efficient you know you're configuring contracts and endpoint groups all these other things and piecing stuff together so it might even feel like it's more work and more complex but that's you know the ultimate goal to orchestrate and automate those tasks away. So yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of prep time, and, and I think for for what well, seems to be a, a common theme now is that all us old dinosaurs we used to uh, uh, plan uh, like everything that we were going to do on a on a project, write out all the all the config snippets, mm -hmm. and uh, and then for some reason I I think you know these comments are correct and the. And that of those early days of, of ACI, it was just, well, it's just going to be another, it's just going to be another router. It's just going to be another switch. And now I got a, a pretty GUI to, uh, to make these changes. So let's jump in. And it's not like that at all. So I think anytime you're tackling a new technology, um, geez, maybe, uh, you know, we got to read the white papers and, and just uh, incumbent upon myself to do, to do the right thing by, um, uh, by learning more about the tech, not just assuming that it's something that I'm already familiar with. 
Yeah, a parting thought on this is uh, many of the folks that we've talked to in the back channel who have deployed ACI have said early versions were frustrating, they were buggy, they didn't work as expected, or there were just unexpected challenges with them. Uh, but that later versions, it's settled way the heck down. It is much more stable, reliable, a lot more successful deployments. And so, you know, ACI of, you know, a few months back or even a year back is um, uh, uh, going to be an improvement over the very earliest versions that came out the door. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I decided to put the question up there as exactly as it came through, which was a little harsh, but, uh, but I think it led to a good discussion. Thank <laughs> you.